Hey everyone, how's it going? Mike and Joe back again. I feel like we always say Joe and Mike, so I came in with the old Mike and Joe. Um, I forget which one's the name of our podcast. Um, but we are back with another day of reviewing NBA games tonight or today. We just have one game, which after Sunday will become the norm. So Sunday we do have two games, seven, so that'll be fun. But um, well, it's easier on me, man. It's <laughs> it's. It it does it does kind of stink, but in the terms of doing podcasts, thank God. Could you imagine they do this every day in the regular season? <laughs> Friggin' here for an hour. Well, more than an hour, but um all right. Let's get straight into it. Um Pace, we, we always talk about the Celtics. Oh, MSG this, MSG that. Yeah, that's scary. This is the eleventh straight home win for the Pacers. So, you know. It's 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 a rock and a hard play situation. I feel when it comes to playing away for the Celtics, but um, in terms of the opposing court, obviously we have a better chance against the Pacers, in my opinion. But you know, Pacers home court is I don't think is to be dismissed in comparison to the MSG. Um, it looks really? tough for the Pacers to start off. They were giving up a lot of offensive rebounds, and the Knicks defense was doing great. Um, Nemhard was playing extremely well, and the Pacers were also shooting extremely well despite those circumstances. So this gives them a small lead early in the second half. Um, I'm sorry, early in the second quarter. Um, Siakam had 15 total in the first half. Um, he had a wrap ton of pressure on him and during one of these plays, um, and he just managed to find Turner for the dunk, and that gets them to a nine-point lead to extend it. Um they have a double-digit lead at the end of the half, but DiVincenzo, with two seconds left, cuts it down to nine with a three-pointer. Um, Nemhard and Halliburton provide back-to-back threes to get it going in the third, and then Halliburton gets two straight twos, and McConnell follows that up with two straight twos of his own, and all of a sudden, they have an 18-point lead. Um, the, the Knicks just got blown out of the water in this quarter. Brunson had 14 in this quarter, so... A Donovan Mitchell esque fourth quarter, third quarter for um for Jalen Brunson, where he's doing all the scoring. And if the rest of the team had moderately stepped up to anything he was doing, they would have had the lead at the end of it. Um, but I think at the overall point of this game, all the Pacers had their all the big names on the Pacers had their moments. Uh, Nimhard, like I said, started off excellent. Um. What was I going to say? Yep. So Nemhard started off excellent. Halliburton near the middle of the game was making all the shots and extending that lead. And I feel like at the end of the game, CJ McConnell was the one kind of being like, all right, let's extend this lead. Um, which is funny because all three of those guys ended up with exactly 15 points, kind of like it was scripted. I won't tell anyone if you won't, because I wanted the Pacers to win this game. Um, Siakam and Turner um, had their moments throughout the game. They both ended. Oh, I'm sorry. Siakam had 25 and Turner had 20 or 17 um, on the other end of the ball. Brunson, 31. McBride with a quiet 20. I, I feel like a lot of those were in the first half. Um, and DiVincenzo, 17. Um, yeah. What say you about um, this game that I thoroughly enjoyed? Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it too. I think, I think um, everybody kind of knew this was going to be the outcome. I feel like, you know, like I think, I, I think it was almost like, universally no what'd you say is it okay dennis no i'm not giving me crap i'm I'm saying i think everybody um i think it was just kind of like universally known that this was gonna go to a game seven you know what i mean like i really don't like like um it that, like, like you said home court has been a very very big deal for both of these teams which is why it's like you know i that's like like which is why like i you know i'm looking ahead here but it's like I can't see the Pacers winning game seven tomorrow. I just cannot see it. I, 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 if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I just cannot see them losing a game seven. Um, how many games did the Knicks last series go? Did it go seven? Who did they play? Oh, why am I blanking? Who did they, they play? They played the Sixers. It went to six. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, it went to six. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So, so. And they, but, that means they won on the road there, yeah. But I think – I don't have much input to add on this game just because I've – you know, I feel like you kind of hit it well, and, and I just – again, it kind of what was supposed to happen happened. But I guess I'm kind of looking f- forward to it from a from a standpoint of 
what you said, I think is very important that both of these teams have a strong home court and that's why, and yeah, I'm bringing up the Celtics. Um, That's why I'm very, very, not very concerned, but I'm much more concerned than I was now that I'm hearing that Porzingis is definitely going to miss the first two games of us being home yeah. because my, because my, because just me thinking of it like this, right. Say we play the Knicks, right. The Knicks just got to, I mean, I'm not saying that the Knicks are going to win two at home for three and four, but if they steal one at TD garden, one of those first two games, that's a really big deal. Like we cannot, like, yeah. like I, I do not want the series split one, one going into MSG. That's just the last thing I want personally. Um, but yeah, I think, I think both of these teams are really strong home court teams. And I think they don't really play the, their best when they're away. So um, yeah. it's like, I don't know. Th- th- this is like a, this is like a classic NBA series though, because like, this is why this is like, like this was back when like seating used to really matter. And this is why like, like home court used to be such a big deal for every single team. It used mm-hmm. to really matter. It used to be like, man, if you, if you're home for a game seven, like you're winning, you know? Um, and in this, in this series, I think that that's the case. I think that, I, just, I mean, I, I just, the only thing is, man, these these teams are going to be in fucking wheelchairs by the end of the, the God. God forbid for any of these teams, this game goes into overtime on Game <laughs> Seven. Like, oh my God, man! I don't. Imagine know. Thibodeau throws out the bench for overtime. <laughs> He's like, you know what? You guys are right. I feel bad. I did see a lot of people though saying that Thibodeau should have started to bench guys a little earlier last night. And I, I I didn't agree with that. No, when when did when he start benching him? I I don't know when he I forget when he started benching him, but I was seeing people in like the early third, like, um, like let's just come on, bet re- get ready for game seven, you know? And I'm like, okay, like I get what you're saying, but like I don't think that that was a case of just Thibodeau being Thibodeau. Like I really think that any other team in the league would have kept their players in in a situation well, early, early third was f- i would have said maybe you start the fourth like you could make an argument but i still wouldn't believe it you say early third that's crazy i don't know maybe it was late third. i don't i i can't remember i just saw it, it was like a big thing but i was just like i was just kind of like man i don't know like I, yeah the game the game was somewhat out of reach but but for today's nba it really wasn't like i like you you're, you right. like you can't just I don't know. Maybe if it was like a game two or something, maybe, but game six, it's like, nah, man, like you got to like, don't just bank on you being home on Sunday to just, you know, kind of rest up, wait for that, you know? Um, so yeah, I didn't get that angle, but yeah, man, I, shout out to the Pacers. I mean, they just keep, I mean, I, I, they're, they're a team though that I think is going to take a, what's perceived as like a decline next season. Like, you know how the Kings Mm -hmm. last year, they got into the playoffs and it seemed like they were going to be making this big improvement and everything. And then like they declined that next season. So I kind of think that's what's going to happen with them, but who knows? I mean, they got, they got some potentials on on that team for sure. So we'll see. I feel like if the, tell me if you agree with this, I feel like if the Pacers make the conference finals this year, it's going to be kind of seen as like when the Atlanta Hawks did it, you know? Like, kind of just, like, one out, you're kind of going to forget that they ended up going there. Maybe the fall-off won't be as bad as it was for the Hawks. But, like, it's just one of those things where it's like, who the hell? Oh, yeah, it was fr- the friggin' Pacers. That's right. I'm on one of those. I think um, I think, I think, think that's a really good point. That's also, like, the uh, the Celtics were in that situation in 2017, too, when they played the Cavs. I, I think no one got... forgot that, though. No, well, yeah, no. They, they, well, they did, though, because a lot of people – they they funny enough – a lot of people think that our run of like going to the Eastern Conference Finals started in 2018, but 2017, the year before Tatum got drafted, we made it to the Eastern Conference Finals. I think people forget that. Jalen Brown was on the team though; that was his first year. But, was Gordon Hayward 2018? Yeah, that was 2018. The 2017 we had was like the Isaiah Thomas year. Um. So wait, so wait, that was Tatum's first NBA game that that happened. Yes. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Shit, I did yeah. not know that. That was his first his, game. His first game was against LeBron, right? Wow. LeBron, LeBron, LeBron and Kyrie. That, and, that, and that was Kyrie's first uh, – and that was Kyrie's – well, no, that was Kyrie's first game on the Celtics against his old team, the Cats. What a friggin' game. Dude, that's – Remember dude, who that, won? That, that for, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the, Cav, the Cavs won. The Cavs won. Um, dude, that was one of the most – hyped up i've ever been for any game playoffs or regular season 
That game I was so hyped for, bro. Like, suck. so hyped for. Yeah. Dude, not only do you lose the game, um, we don't got to go there. Um, but what was I going to say? Um, I got some good and bad news for you here. So I'm looking a little into it. Game one, no matter who it is, will be on Tuesday. So they got the, 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 the away team will have to pull a Bruins and fly immediately to their next opponent and not even have a break. Bad news is if they are pulling a Bruins, which they are, Bruins did win on a blowout. <laughs> Not that and that's I, gonna happen, but and, and all I want for Christmas is for Joe to stop comparing NHL playoffs to the NBA playoffs. That's all well, I, want. I, I was just He's I was just trying to be an asshole there. I, I get it. I I know, I know. But um yeah, um I, I think we, that's all that's really needs to be said about the Pacers and the Knicks, you know. It's uh we'd rather face the Pacers in my opinion, I assume your opinion, but it looks like the Knicks are probably gonna pull it with home court, but we should be afraid of both just because of how important home court is to both and without person, guess. Um, do you if think that's that, uh, all you were hoping to do there, what about tonight's game? Well, I was going to say to you, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was going to say to you, though, I was going to ask this question to you, and I'm trying to think how to word this because I'm, I'm obviously excited for this game, but part of me just wants to get to tomorrow to the game seven games. Like, not that I don't give a shit about this game tonight, but like, I am not as excited because I know what's to follow tomorrow. If if that makes sense. Fair. Are the um are the games what time are they tomorrow? Oh like... 3 30 Pacers Knicks. Oh Mike, you are excited. <laughs> you already know. I, although I do wish that the Timberwolves Nuggets was 3 30, but I know that they t- talk about script for this. They don't have a time determined for the Timberwolves Nuggets, but they do for the Thunder Mavericks game seven. Yeah, well, no, well, they 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 did that because they were waiting for to see if the Knicks game was gonna go last night or not. Because because if it wasn't, then they were gonna make the Timberwolves game earlier. But now they're gonna, I guess, they're gonna find whatever right. time. Okay, that makes sense. I like to talk about scripts though. But um, yeah. So what is it? Game six. So this is Mavericks home court, and I I guess it's just whether or not the Mavericks are gonna hit or miss. I think. I think you're going to get the best out of the Thunder and the Mavericks can't have one of those miss games, you know, where it's like they just don't show up. And you you said to yourself, they either show up swinging or they don't show up at all. If if I think I think what could I think the best chance that the Thunder have, I'll probably take the Mavericks. But I think that the best chance that the Thunder have is to get under their skin early and make them question themselves by getting some early shots and some early strong defense and then just have the Mavericks live in their own heads and just, you know, have one of those games. And I think the Mavericks will come out trying to weather a storm and make some shots to get swinging on their own. But I think a strong start for the Thunder would go a long, long way. Yeah, I this game's hard to call, man, because, like, on one end, it's like... I personally feel like I haven't... St- watch any games this season this series and said oh the thunder are better than the mavericks since game one game one was the last time i said that now they've won another game since then but the last four games i've watched and said oh the mavericks are better than this team like the 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 mavericks are better than this team they just are now i don't know because there i really can also see a world where this goes to seven like i really can um I'm going to go with Mavs and six because it's like, I believe they're going to rise to the occasion. That's why I have them going to the finals. I think they will rise to the occasion, but I will not be surprised at all. If, if, if they lose this game themselves, you know, um, more so than the thunder win. And, you know, I, I don't know. I just don't, I think that again, I've been saying this, I give my props to the thunder. I still think they're a couple years away. Um, and mm-hmm. I will stand on that. And I think that tonight, will prove that um what was i gonna say yeah no i mean i think it would, i think it's kind of a stretch if um this the there's three game sevens in round two i'll, I'll, I'll tell you what right, okay i'm back i think you were going for a sec um it'd be a stretch if there are three game sevens in round two but i'll tell you what it would be a celtics fan's dream i mean 
we got we we we've been resting for about a week and we get to watch all this game seven basketball it's i mean that's that's exactly what every celtics fan wants to see um point. so uh, for us it would be absolutely beautiful if this went to seven not only just for like you know oh let's like tire out the other team blah 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 but just for an entertainment factor you know like i i i'm sure you're the same way where it's like um, you're like, oh yeah, I'd like this game to be close. Like, I don't really care who wins this game. Just let it be close, blah, blah, blah. And then everyone's like, uh, what about the Celtics? Blowout, fucking blowout. Friggin' win by third. You know who's winning after the first quarter. Blowout. <laughs> so yeah, that's I mean, just kind of how it would be if we won in five and they all they all went to seven. That would be that would be so perfect. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I hear I hear what you're saying, bro, but like I can't lie to you, man. Like I had a lot more fun two years ago watching us in the playoffs. Oh, fair. Well, we went to game seven. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, 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 like it was just so on much. It. It's looking back on it. Those are good times, but it was scary yeah. as shit. No, oh, my God, dude. I was like, like I was on suicide. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I shouldn't say that. But, I, you know, I, I was a trigger warning for anybody. But, uh. And nobody's watching this far. It's fine. Um, but, but, um. I was watching this to begin with. <laughs> but 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 so um but yeah i don't know that's that's actually why I, that, that's actually what i was going to ask you about the celtics is like does does this playoffs feel a little weird for you watching them like I, it feels weird because like i don't want to say it's not enjoyable but it really hasn't been that enjoyable watching them. i think i think it was because we all assume and know the outcome and 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 that's that's why i do prefer nhl you never I'll know what's gonna though. happen and i i, I was gonna I'm, I'm just gonna say i feel like if we play the pacers it's gonna be one of those feelings again whether or not, i think the pacers are a lot stronger competition than the cavaliers and the heat especially because at the moment knock 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 they're fully healthy but i feel like if we face the knicks that's gonna change it's gonna change up I, it's gonna be a dangerous game I, I do think that the NBA playoffs is getting better though with like knowing who's gonna always win. Like this this year we've known that the Celtics were gonna like advance, advance, but we also thought there was gonna be more teams that were gonna that didn't. Like we didn't think the Nuggets would be struggling like this. So I do think it's getting better. But um uh, man, what was I gonna say? I mean, oh, I can't really compare because let I me, just let me haven't been this. around for too too long. Let me say this, right? And I want to make myself very clear. I will always root for the Celtics. I will always be an extreme Celtics fan, and I will always root them on every single game. If they lose in the Eastern Conference Finals again this year, you will never, ever, ever hear me utter another word about this is our year, This is uh, Tatum's top five, this, this, or that. No. If we don't get to the finals this year, I'm I don't I do I don't want to hear Dennis. I don't want to hear anybody saying that next year is our year because we have had we have had a freaking decade of blowing it in the conference finals. It's great that we've gotten to so many conference finals, but it's like, dude, eventually, like we have to break through. Yeah. And, and no, nobody has ever, no team has ever gone like to this many conference finals in this many years. Well, it's what's it, six and eight? No one has gone to six conference finals in eight years, not win the championship, and then like another year or two down the line win a championship. Like it, it do- just doesn't happen. We are running out of time. We really well, are, in my opinion. You look at it that way, but I'm not. I'm not sure. Has any team had any big switch ups like getting rid of Marcus Smart, bringing in? It's a whole different team. But I, I, I see where you're standing. I get what you're saying, and and that's exactly how I feel with like the frigging Cowboys. You know, like. I feel like after well, a certain no, well, amount of after a certain amount of time, it's like, how long can you say this is your fucking year? Like, I especially agree. with the loss of the Packers this year. Like, that was just disgusting. So no, they were saying they um what was it? Um they were they were showing like a primetime Eagles Cowboys matchup, and it's like, oh, this is gonna be great. And I'm like, I honestly do not care about the Cowboys. Like, usually at this point, I'm like, I right, well, you know, the Cowboys at least are an entertaining regular season. I do not give a damn about the Cowboys at all because I just know how it's going to end for them next season. It's just going to be the same old, same old. And I hope that doesn't happen to the Celtics, but I'll tell you what, um, it, if they don't make the conference, I mean, if they don't make the finals, then it 
or at least even make a statement in the finals. If they get swept in the finals, the same shit. But right. they got to win a couple in the finals. I feel this I, year. I, I'll tell you what, man. If they if they if they don't make the finals, I can't like every anything that anybody says on Twitter about the Celtics is warranted. Go for it. Yeah. Fair. Frauds, frauds, Fair. frauds. Like, like, I, like, I don't know what else, and I feel bad saying that, but it's just like, dude. Unless like, they say Derek White's a fraud, he's cool. It's, it's just such a weird predicament to be in to like always be in the conference finals, but never like do anything. With when it. it, it's yeah. so weird. I don't know. They're doing it once, yeah. That's stupid. But um, all right. That's enough Celtic ranting. I feel. Um, thank you guys for. <laughs> I'm never done ranting. Thank you, future Joe and future Mike, for watching this. Uh, We'll catch you in the next one.